The countries of the global south have contributed little to the climate crisis, but they're particularly vulnerable to its impacts. Now, as a result of COVID-19, high interest rates and climate-related disasters, debt levels in the global south have skyrocketed. As a consequence, a triple crisis of debt, climate and lost development is emerging. How can highly indebted developing countries respond to these challenges? A proposal by the Debt Relief for a Green and Inclusive project lays out a blueprint for comprehensive debt relief that frees up significant resources for countries to invest and achieve their climate and development goals. Here's how it would work. Step 1. Analysis. To start, the International Monetary Fund and the World Bank integrate climate resilience and the Sustainable Development Goals into the debt sustainability analysis they conduct on behalf of members. Middle-income countries that are traditionally excluded from debt relief would be made eligible. Step 2. Recovery Strategy Governments with unsustainable debt develop a green and inclusive recovery strategy aligning policies and budgets with the Paris Climate Agreement and the Sustainable Development Goals. Policymakers and stakeholders provide input. Creditors give feedback. Step 3. Debt Reduction Upon agreement on the strategy, countries receive a reduction on their overall debt level, which will be applied equally across debt owed to public and private creditors. Step 4. Private creditor involvement. Along with the debt reduction, private creditors can exchange old bonds for new green and inclusive recovery bonds, which support the implementation of the strategy. These new bonds come with a guarantee making them more secure than the old bonds. Step 5. Monitoring. A portion of the country's debt service is channeled into a fund for green and inclusive recovery. The funds are used to support nationally determined climate priorities and will be monitored by a multi-stakeholder commission. Servicing debt payments cannot come at the cost of climate and development needs. By enacting comprehensive debt relief, the international community can advance a just and green transition for developing countries. Nothing less than the well-being of the world depends on it. Learn more on our website.